Beneath the churning black clouds of an eternal storm, the phantom's wrath cut through the waters like a vengeful spirit, its sails tattered and rotting, yet it pressed forward with an unnatural force. Lightning cracked across the sky, illuminating the tower and masts, and revealing the dark figure at the helm, Captain Gideon Gale. Once, Gale was a pirate feared by all. His black flag sent chills down the spines of even the bravest sailors, for wherever the Phantom's wrath sailed, death followed close behind. Gale was ruthless, known for leaving no survivors in his wake, but it was his betrayal of a powerful sea witch that sealed his fate, dooming him and his ship to an eternity in the storm. Years ago, Gale had sought the witch's help in finding a treasure beyond imagining, a hoard said to be hidden at the bottom of the sea. In exchange, he promised her half of the fortune. The witch, trusting Gale's word, granted him the power to find the treasure. But when the time came to honor his promise, Gale showed his true colors. Instead of sharing the riches, he cast the witch into the ocean, thinking he had rid himself of her forever. But as her body sank beneath the waves, her eyes burning with vengeance, she cursed him with her final breath. For your treachery, you will sail the storm for all eternity, and your soul will never find rest. The curse took hold swiftly. The skies blackened, and the sea churned as if it too were cursed. The Phantom's wrath, along with its crew, was swallowed by a massive wave. But instead of sinking, the ship was dragged into the heart of an endless storm, a storm that never ceased. Now, Captain Gideon Gale is no longer the man he once was. His body, like that of his crew, is decayed, his flesh clinging to his bones. His once fiery eyes now burn with a cold, ghostly light as he sails the stormy seas, forever cursed to hunt for souls to join his damn crew. And so the Phantom's Wrath sails on, an eternal prisoner of the sea, drawing in unwary souls who seek the riches of a ghost ship. But those who board the cursed vessel never leave. They become part of the legend, trapped alongside Captain Gale in the eternal storm. The wind howled through the sails of the Seahawk, a modern treasure hunting vessel, as it approached the coordinates that legend spoke of, coordinates said to lead to the Phantom's wrath. For years, treasure hunters had scoured the oceans, chasing myths of the cursed ship, believing it held untold riches. But none had ever returned to tell their tale. Aboard the Seahawk was a small crew led by Captain Briggs, a hardened man who'd spent his life chasing fortune. His crew, young and eager, had heard the legends. They knew the stories, whispered in ports, of a ghost ship doomed to sail through an eternal storm. But they didn't believe in curses. To them, the Phantom's Wrath was just another shipwreck waiting to be claimed. As the ship drew closer to the coordinates, the sky darkened and the seas grew violent. Thick, unnatural fog rolled in, enveloping the Seahawk. The storm came on suddenly too fast, as if it had been waiting for them. Lightning split the sky, revealing a silhouette in the distance. There, shouted Briggs, pointing toward the outline of a massive ship. Through the swirling mist, the Phantom's wrath emerged, its tattered sails billowing in the wind, though no breeze touched the Seahawk. The ancient ship was eerily intact, its wood dark and rotting but solid, as if held together by some otherworldly force. The crew of the Seahawk watched in awe as the cursed vessel loomed before them, impossibly large and ominous. They had found it, the treasure of legends. Prepare to board, Briggs commanded, excitement flashing in his eyes. But as the crew readied themselves, a chill swept over the deck. The storm intensified, the fog closing in tighter around them. Something wasn't right. The air was thick with dread, but it was too late. 
the Seahawk was already tethered to the Phantom's wrath, pulled into the storm's grasp. One by one, the treasure hunters boarded the ghostly ship, unaware of the doom that awaited them. The moment their boots touched the deck of the Phantom's Wrath, the crew of the Seahawk felt a shift, a bone-deep cold that pierced through their clothes. The ship creaked and groaned beneath them, as though it were alive, and the wind howled with a low, mournful sound. The storm swirled around them, but aboard the cursed ship all was unnaturally still. Look at this place muttered one of the crew, his voice barely more than a whisper. The deck was littered with decayed ropes and shattered wood, but it was a silence that unnerved them the most. No birds, no waves lapping against the hull, just the deafening quiet of a ship caught between worlds. Spread out, Briggs ordered. Find the treasure. The crew moved cautiously, lanterns flickering as they explored the vast, airy ship. But as they ventured deeper, strange things began to happen. The temperature dropped even further, their breath now visible in the air. Shadows seemed to shift on their own, and the air carried a faint, haunting whisper, unintelligible, yet unnerving. And then they saw them, the crew of the Phantom's Wrath. At first, the ghostly figures were barely visible, flickers at the edge of their vision, but soon they became clearer, pale, translucent forms with hollow eyes and tattered clothes. The phantoms moved silently, their empty gazes following the treasure hunters as they scoured the ship. Their faces were twisted in agony, mouths open as though they were screaming, but no sound came. One of the treasure hunters, a young man named Davis, stopped dead in his tracks. His lantern shook in his hand as he stared at a figure that seemed to materialize from the shadows. A skeletal pirate, its decaying hand reaching toward him. Captain. Davis whispered, his voice trembling. There's something, there's something here! Before anyone could react, the ghostly pirate lunged at him. Davis screamed, dropping his lantern, and the others rushed to his side. But when they reached him, the phantom had vanished, leaving nothing but a cold, lingering presence in the air. What was that? One of the crew stammered, his eyes wide with fear. Briggs, trying to maintain control, clenched his fists. Keep moving, he growled. We came for treasure and we're not leaving without it. But the crew was growing uneasy. Every corner of the ship seemed to hold more phantoms, ghostly figures that drifted in and out of the shadows, watching them with silent malice. And though they found no treasure, the cursed crew of the Phantom's Wrath was growing restless. The treasure hunters were not alone on this ship, and they were being watched. As they ventured below deck, the atmosphere grew heavier, more oppressive. The further they went, the more the ship seemed to change. Hallways lengthened, doors that were once open slammed shut, and the air thickened with the scent of rot and decay. The storm outside raged on, but inside the Phantom's Wrath, time seemed to stand still. We need to get out of here, whispered one of the crew, his voice cracking with fear. This ship, it's wrong. We shouldn't be here. Briggs ignored him, his eyes fixed ahead, but even he couldn't deny the feeling of dread that gnawed at his gut. The phantoms were becoming more aggressive. Now they moved openly across the ship, their hollow eyes locked on the treasure hunters as they moved through the darkened corridors. Whispers filled the air, voices from long dead sailors calling out, their words incomprehensible, but filled with anger and sorrow. It was as if the ship itself was trying to tell them something, something terrible. Suddenly, Briggs stopped. In front of him, etched into the wood of the ship's hull, were strange, glowing symbols. They pulsed with an eerie light, casting the entire corridor in a ghostly glow. What is this? Briggs murmured, 
his hand reaching out to touch the markings. The moment his fingers brush the wood, a surge of cold shot through him and visions flashed before his eyes. Visions of the Phantom's wrath and its cursed crew, of Captain Gideon Gale standing at the helm, his flesh rotting away, his eyes glowing with eternal hunger. This isn't a treasure hunt, Briggs realized, his voice barely audible. We've been lured here, we're the treasure. But before he could warn the others, the phantoms closed in, their skeletal hands reaching for the living, their cold dead eyes filled with hunger. Panic set in, the treasure hunters scrambled to flee, but no matter how hard they tried, every hallway, every door, every stairway led them back to the same place, the deck of the Phantom's Wrath, where Captain Gideon Gale awaited them. The storm raged around them, lightning flashing across the sky, illuminating the decaying figure of the captain. His ghostly form stood tall at the helm, his eyes glowing with cold, malevolent light as he watched the terrified crew. You thought you could take what belongs to me? Gale's voice boomed, carried in the howling wind. You are no different from the rest, greedy fools, thinking you could cheat death. Briggs, now fully aware of their fate, stood frozen in place, his heart pounding in his chest. What do you want from us? He shouted over the storm. Gale's lips twisted into a cruel smile. I don't want your gold. I want your souls. You've been lured here to replace my crew. Welcome to the Phantom's Wrath. Your lives end here. Before they could react, the ghostly crew descended upon them, their skeletal hands pulling the living into their cold embrace. One by one, the treasure hunters felt their flesh begin to wither, their bones turn in brittle, their faces twisting in terror as they were transformed into phantoms. Briggs tried to fight, but it was no use. His body crumbled, and in his final moments, he saw his own reflection in the ship's rotten wood. His eyes hollow, his skin decayed. He was now one of them. The Phantom's wrath surged forward into the storm, its new crew of phantoms manning the ship. Captain Gideon Gale stood at the helm, his hunger for souls never sated. And as the ship disappeared into the mist, the legend of the Phantom's Wrath continued, forever hunting, forever cursed. <laughs>